We're going to begin by the Mishnah and Daf Lamed Ches Amal Aleph. So the Mishnah, a mafkin pairs is a chaveri, person who deposited produce with another. I feel ain't a wooden, even if it is lost due to either uh, uh, to, for whatever reason. La yiga ba'en the shemer may not touch it. Why? Because it's not his. Shemer gamliel emer. Shemer gamliel says meichin befrei beizdin. He sells it before the beizdin. Because when he does this, it's like returning a lost item to the owner, since through its sale, he prevents the owner from losing the value of the produce. The Tanakama holds that, just don't touch it, it's not yours. If Shimon Gamliel says no, then he should sell it in front of the basin. If I think about my time, what's the reason that the first Tana says that the Shemra should not touch the produce? Oh, what if Kana kind of says, Adam Reitz person prefers a cow of his own produce to nine cow of another. So even though it's going to spoil, the owner prefers that the shemer not touch the produce. We're concerned that perhaps the one who deposited the produce rendered it truma and maiser for another and another place, resulting in the buyer consuming produce that is a truma and maiser appropriately. Basically, they asked the Shaila from the Bryce, Amafka Pears is a Chavere, person who deposited produce with another, the Shamer may not touch it, the Fika, therefore, Balabais is a Truma, my circle, Makamacha. And therefore, the owner may render Truma and my circle produce another place. The Bishnah that have Kana, granted, according to Kana, I have done the Fika, the difference is a Fika. The concern that the owner may render the produce truma and meiser is not the reason why the shamer may not sell it, and the lacha that the owner may render the produce from truma and meiser results from the lacha that the shamer may not sell it. I learned not from Rabbi Yisroel Malafik or Wisdom of the According to his explanation, the fact that the owner may render the produce truma and meiser is the very reason why the shamer may not sell the produce. So my answer is Achit Kamar Hash. The Amar Rabban Lenina Zab Ben Nam the Chacham said the shamer not sell the produce. The, the fact that the Hashina, we are concerned that perhaps the owner will make it true or the owner can be confident that the produce is still in the possession of the Shemer. He can therefore, the owner may render it true and Maiser for produce in another place. Even Chatchila. The Machlikis in the Mishnah, where the produce deteriorates at the standard rates of deterioration. But if the produce deteriorates at a greater than the Vriakal make from the base, everybody agrees that the Shemra sells it in Basin. So the Mara says of this, Adram Nachman by Yitzchak Vadip Pliki, Rabbi Yitzchak certainly disagrees with the painter of Nachman by Yitzchak, as the Shash that the owner might have rendered the produce to Mara Maisus applies regardless of the rate of deterioration. Out of Kana, Milam Pliki, does Rabbi Yitzchak disagree with the painter of Kana? So my answer is, can go on a kind of a teich asana kolmer. When Rav Kana says that the other rates of a kav shalei, it's a case where the produce deteriorates at its standard rate of deterioration. Then he says it. So when the rate of deterioration is accelerated, he would agree that the shemer sells the produce. Friends, one of our rates of a kav shalei b'tis a kav shalchav edik kolmer. He just said that a person would rather have a kav of his own produce than another produce, which is mashal that even. If the rate of deterioration was accelerated, one prefers his own produce, as in the case of the Tisha Kabin. So the word says, Guzma Ba'alma, it's just an exaggeration. And actually, one prefers his own produce only when its rate of deterioration is standard. Maisvi, the Astro Shaila, the Fika, Balabai, says, in Truma, Maisvi, Zamalka, Machir, Fredlima, the Valetra, the Dilma, Havadahu, Yasi, Bethi, Hasran. Let us be concerned that perhaps the produce deteriorates at a rate greater than a standard rate of deterioration. And with Zamnino, and the streamer sold it. The call called Tvalim, and now he's eating Tevil. The Maratz is used to be We're not worried that the deterioration at a greater rate than at standard rates. It's very uncommon, and the Chachamim will not make a Gzir on something which is Leishchiach. Predicting one of the Mishtachi Mai, and if it's found out that more of the produce is missing, then it would be lost according to the standard rate of the deterioration. So what's the big deal? Zamnino, we. According to the opinion of Eichlan, do we sell it? Let us be concerned that the owner rendered the produce truma and maaser for produce in another place. 
So when I says these zanin and nami, even when we sell the produce, the kain and the truma was zanin lo. It's the kain at the price of the truma that we sell it. So even if the owner rendered a truma, it is consumed by kainim, and therefore there's no kshash. The Maya says, Rav Nachman, why you saw Nami, the Zabdinu, the Kenim, the Beit Truma. According to Rav Nachman, by Yitzchak as well, since they're concerned that perhaps the owner rendered the Truma, the Protest Truma, let the Shemra sell the Protest, the Kain, at the price of the Truma. So the Maya answers, Baha, please. This they disagree. Why? The Rabbi of Akhana Sabah, yes, better his friend English, Shriach Midi. He holds that the variation at a greater rate than the standard rate is not really Shriach. And when it occurs that the produce deteriorates at the greater rate, it's only from now that it is assumed that it is becoming deteriorated at a greater at a rate greater than a standard rate of deterioration. So So therefore, if the owner now render the produce to a miser for produce another place, it's assumed that it would be before it deteriorated at a rate greater than the standard rate of deterioration than it did. And the produce deteriorated at a rate greater than the standard rate of deterioration. As I've been looking at it, the shamer should sell the produce of Tarkainim at the price of Tarkainim. Or not when you sell, or not when you sell colds, that just in Mikhail Hasrainim, Mishka Shrisuba, I will alter the Avalu. He holds that the deterioration at a rate greater than its standard rate of deterioration is common. When the produce becomes deteriorated at a rate greater than the standard rate of deterioration, it may be immediately that it became deteriorated to that extent. Now, if you say that let us sell uh, um, the, the let us sell it. At that time, the shemer will sell it early, and when the owner renders the truma meister for something else, he does not know that the shemer already sold the produce, and the owner eats down table. So the says, basically, when I ask Kishayla, I'm after paying a shitz of a very kibble. Person who deposited the produce with another and it rotted, Yain asked me, it's wine, and now it became like vinegar or fermented. Shem of Ibish, oil on it uh, became now like, um, it became uh, putrefied. The bash for heat, bitch, or honey that's spoiled. Has a league of man. He's not allowed to touch them. Do we then may it? Rechomimim, Esalem, Takana. He makes a remedy. And, Omechim will be based in, and he sells it in based in. Omechim, when he sells them, Omechim, when he sells them, when he sells them to others, and he's not selling to himself, even for the same price. So no one should be suspect that he bought it at a discount. Ketzeba, you find Gabbet Stuck was Mashin, the Manin, the Chalik. When you have a Gabit Stoka, a charity collector, well, he doesn't have four people to whom to distribute Stoka, they change copper putas that they collected for more valuable silver coins. However, they ain't paid in Latspe, but he does not change the coins for themselves. Why do they to Shash? God by Tamhu Bismar Shein Lamani in the Chalik. If collectors from the Stoka plate collected ready made food for the poor at a time, there's no poor people to whom they distribute the food. They sell the food to others. In Rechel Asim, they not sell the food to themselves. Now, Ketani Mias, Paris Rekibu, at any rate, it was taught produce and it rotted. My love, I feel the other I was not referring to even a case where they all rotted at a rate greater than the standard of deterioration. But it's just like Bechthir Chesrenen. It's referring to a case where they deteriorated at their Standard rate of deterioration. I think one of our yain vechmits shem ebish tvash beibish, which is the yosmech teches renino. It's uh, talking about where these items deteriorated at a rate greater than their standard rate of deterioration, as there's a significant difference in the price of wine before and after fermentation. Or it says shani ani the key key with the kum kum. If cases, once they become spoiled, they remain spoiled, but they not continue to deteriorate. Although, therefore, although the deterioration was significant, there's nothing gained by selling it. Now, in the case of oil, and it became uh, putrefied honey, and it's spoiled. What do they fit for? According to the Chachamim, one sells them in the basin. Apparently, they must have some value. 
And it says, Shemen Chazia Ligil Doi, oil is fit for tanners, who would coat the hides with oil even if they had a bad smell. And the vash, the kitishosh of the galma, ani is fit as a slave for a wound on the back of camels. Now, the chum, the chum say, that um, you should affect the takona for the spoiled produce, the products that sell them in basin. What remedy does it affect to these products? And what they can't, can they can't, can in the the takona is for casks. Although the content of the barrel is spoiled, leaving if it in the barrels will ruin the, the, will ruin the barrels. Now, the Gemara says like this, since the mayor agrees that when there's a deterioration and the rate greater than the standard rate of the deterioration, so the shamer should sell the deposit. So what are they arguing yet? What does the mayor of Chum disagree? The mayor will have some new machash, will have some new the mayor owes the Chacham were concerned for a significant loss, but the Chacham were not concerned for an insignificant loss. And the Mar Savar, the Chacham will then know if he'll have some wood, not Michashu. Chacham were concerned even for an insignificant loss. Shimon the Alien, but you mark him, we raise them, why I'm nature, we make sure we don't do the Mishnah. The Shimon says he sells it before the Chacham, before the base then, due to the fact that it's like a Mishnah Babedo. Itmar, the Bayaba. But if you are a rich Allah is the Kur of Shimagam, the Omar Allah could live the Chacham. Frankly, one of Amr of Bechin Chadas did not. But why is it necessary for Bechin to issue the Allah specifically in this case? Did Bechin already say, Dower of Bechin, Dumb of Khan of Bechin, Kobakam Shana of Shimagam, the Abish, which is in Allah Kamese? Anytime he says Allah is like him, is Allah is like him, except for Arvid Said and Ayah Khaina. Except for these three cases, and all these cases, Bechin was Allah is according to his opinion. The more answers, I'm already in the valley of the Bechlin. The Babla, the Abba Rochana, I'm already in a disagree with regard to the opinion of Bechlin. The Babla holds that there was no general ruling, and therefore a ruling was necessary in this case. The Abba Rochana holds that Bechlin issued a rule of general ruling. Versus, the Mirab Shimna Gamliel, Nishma, the Midigan, the Karl Nixi Shavoy, and the statement of Rab Shimna Gamliel, it's learned that the Bezdin authorizes a relative who is the Yenish to descend and manage the property of the captive. A shemer who sells rotting produce is like one returning a lost item to the owner. So one who manages the property of a of a captive who's unable to do so himself should have the same status. From the statement of the Chacham, who said that the shemer should not touch anything, it, clearly you can learn out that the basin does not authorize a relative to descend and manage the property of a captive. The Lord says, no, we might from how do you know that? Then we'll have come to come to Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, Allah, Allah, Mishim, the Kokal Yakar, and to the whole, the Kokal Yakarna. Oh, but there is a case where the, the fact that the principle, the erotic products, is destroyed. How awesome, Achanamit, the Emeridin, but there, in the case of the, uh, the basin, does not authorize a relative to descend and manage the property of a captive, because if the land lies fallow, the land will remain intact, even if the captive will not profit. And I can tell you, Vad Kamli Kamra Banacha, Allah, he could have Kamli, he could have Nachma Yitzhak. Have also Machanami, the Midian, there in the case, and with the air, um, uh, that, that a person prefers his own produce, or we said the reason of Nachma that is concerned that perhaps it was designated for Tumas and Mises. But there, with regards to the captive's property, though, the, those reasons don't apply. And indeed, the base that authorizes the relatives to manage it. Fred Gumar the Memra, the trade time, and you know, is this to say that there's two independent reasons for the two halachas? He says this, it must be because it's one reason. The Lord says, no, late three times, and you know, there's really two reasons. Or it says, it makes sense that these two halachas are unrelated. And then he says that we do let the relative go and manage the property. It was stated like this: Shavish and Ishba in the case of one taken captive. Rav Amar Emirid and Karl the Chosov. Rav says that the basin is not authorized a relative to descend and manage the property of a captive. Ashmuel and Emirid and Karl the Chosov. Shmuel argues it says the basin authorizes a relative and the sense to descend and manage the property of a captive. Umar limits the scope of the machlekes. But Shishamu by Shemay is in a case where they heard. And the captive died. Kula Amalei Pliki the Meridian. Everyone agrees that the base that authorizes a relative to descend and manage the property of a captive. The relative is the pro, is, is the the relative is the prospective Yiddish and will tend to the land 
as if it was own. If the capital returns, then he'll compensate the relative for his expenditures. He pleaded with Shalish Shamu if they did, when did they disagree in a case where they did not hear and the captive died and will not return. So Rav Amr Rav says Emiridin, the base does not authorize a relative to send and manage the property of a captive. Is the one mafshel the old lest they devalue the property? Shmuel Amar is no ready to do well. Keep the Amar Mar Chashim Luchkaris because since the master says in a case for one who works the field, the thought hey is we appraise his field, his work as if we were owned as a sharecropper. Loi mafshel the old relative will not devaluate the property. Mark as it's in his best interest to tend to the lad to ensure that he will receive payment. Basically, that's the question. Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar says me mafshel Shneimar. From the fact that the Tata says, My anger will wax hot. I will kill you. Do I not know that their wives shall be widows and their children orphans? So why does the Tata say, Your wives shall be widows and your children orphans? Why is it necessary? So the word says, This teaches us. An additional punishment that the men will be killed with no witness, their wives will seek to marry, and the Bezdin will not allow them. And the children are going to want to descend to the father's property to inherit it, and the Bezdin will not allow them. So apparently, the Bezdin does not authorize a relative to descend and manage the property of a captive. So, whatever else says, no. Later, the Limkertanan. We learned in the Brysa. So, the Machabon. Rav Amr 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 says later We learn in the in the bride that the that the that the basin does not allow them to descend and sell the land, but the basin does authorize a relative to descend and manage the land. Mar says a story. Who after they vowed to Benar Doi? There was an incident in Ardal. Who passed Rav Sheshes Mamas Nisin, and Rav Sheshes resolved this matter for the bride and ruled that the basin does not authorize a relative to descend the property of a captive. Perhaps we learn in the Mishnah that the basin does not allow a relative to descend and to sell the land. So Amar Amar Leid Rosh Hashanah said, like they're mocking to him. Dilma of Pavadisat. So told him, like perhaps you're from Pavadisa. The Ailin and Peter Bekufa the Machta. He made made fun of him. He said, like where people pass an elephant through the eye of a needle. They engage in in, in like in, in 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 foolish reasons. But doesn't isn't there like a shyness between their wives and their children? And the positive teach that it is the meaning of similar both cases. Just as there with regards to the nishisayim, it means that they may not remarry at all. So to you know, with regards to the sons, it means that they may not descend to the property at all. Mara says, Manidan Karlinus is Shavitanoi. Emma's this, if the base that authorizes a relative to descend and manage the property, it's a Machlikis Tanoi. The Tayyu looked at the Raisa here, the Nifse Shavi, one of the sons of the property of a captive and works in his field. Emetzina Simiyodi. So the Allah is, the base does not confiscate him from his possessions. Well, later, not only that, Allah Filus Shama Shemasham Shadubain. Even if he heard that the owners are approaching and arriving, they called them the Talash Vahal, and the one descended in the field preceded the arrival uprooted to consume the produce that grew that year. As a Zarzvaniskar, a person is like a is it's the more calls him like a diligent than he profits, as he receives a return on the work that he invested. And these are the properties where the captain is property where there is captives' properties. Where one's father, brother, or one of his relatives went overseas, and those in the locale heard that the relative died. Either the sanitarian, one of the sanit, had the property, Matinus of Yadi, and based on rules that from his possession of the one managing it. This is, this is the abandoned property. In the case of all these people that they they uh, went overseas, and those in the local did not hear that the relative died. 
He says, I heard that the, that the, how, that the status of the abandoned property is like that of property of captives and is not confiscated from the possession of the one managing it. So the machlik between the first time of Shemir Gamliel is parallels the machlik between Avon and Shemol. Hayedu the Nixir Tushim, a person who descends to a forsaken property, Matinus Miyade, the basin rules it from his possession. Reda Nixir the Tushim, this is the Nixir the Tushim, and they share over by Ochil, where Echel and Amnation can, for any day of the Echel and Ochil, the relatives do not know where they went. Everyone agrees that in this instance, the basin does not authorize a relative to descend of the property. Fredding about a Mashna, I have to curl the Tushim, Mashna, as honoring the curl in the Tushim. Why is about the one's property that it's called abandoned property, and what is the difference about the other property that it's called Netushim forsaken property? So the answer says Netushim the Balkorchan. Abandoned property is referring to property that its owner is vacated Balkorchan. The Pasuk says, With the seventh year you shall let it rest and let it follow. Afkat of the Malka. It's, it's taken by, by the king, in other words, by the Abishur. The Tushan, the Medaitan, forsaken property. This is referring to Medaitan. The Tsiv, Emal Bonan, the Tushan, as the Pusik says, a mother was forsaken with her sons. It's just that the mother was left with the sons. All the men left.